Norman Foster is one of the most famous British architects and designers of the current day. He is closely associated with the development of modernist, high-tech architecture and the early adoption of environmental energy efficient construction. His architectural practice, Foster & Partners, was founded in 1967 and is currently the largest architectural practice in the United Kingdom, having many more offices internationally. Some of his most famous designs include the Reichstag Building, 30 St Mary Axe, otherwise known as the Gherkin, Apple Park, and the stadiums of Barcelona, Camp Nou, and England, Wembley. Norman Foster, born 1935, was the only child of his two parents. His father was a machine painter at the local electrical engineering company in Manchester, which heavily influenced him to take up engineering and ultimately pursue a career in architecture. His parents were both hard workers, and often had neighbours and other family members look after Foster, which while giving him a great work ethic, meant that his relationship with his parents was restricted. Foster eventually became a contract manager at his local architectural firm, where they advised him that if he wished to become an architect at their firm, he needed to prepare a portfolio of drawings. He did just this, and the firm was so impressed with his drawings, he was subsequently promoted to the firm's drawing department. In 1956, he began studying at the School of Architecture and City Planning, which is part of the University of Manchester. He wasn't eligible for the maintenance grants, so took part-time jobs to fund his studies, including as an ice cream salesman, a bouncer, and night shifts at a bakery. Three years into his studies, he won a Reba Silver Medal for his measured drawing of a windmill. Graduating two years later, Foster won the Henry Fellowship to Yale School of Architecture. Foster returned to England after, and established his first architectural firm called Team 4. One of the first projects was the Cockpit, a minimalist glass bubble situated in Cornwall, England. Glass domes can be seen in future projects, such as in the Reichstag, Copenhagen Zoo and the Gherkin. A few years later, the team four members separated, and in 1967, Foster founded his current practice, called at the time, Foster Associates. For the next 15 years, Foster collaborated with American architect Richard Buckminster Fuller on several projects that spearheaded future developments of environmentally safe design approaches. On a personal note, I do believe that environmental sustainable design should be at the absolute forefront of every architectural project. Foster Associates' breakthrough project occurred in 1975 with the Willis Faber and Dumas headquarters in Ipswich. The client, a family-run insurance company, wanted to restore a sense of community to the workplace. Foster designed a modular, open-floor office plan long before they were the norm and installed a communal roof garden, a 25 metre long swimming pool and a gym in order to enhance the company's 1,200 employees' quality of life. Foster's reputation only grew as more office buildings were designed. The HSBC main building in Hong Kong at the time was the most expensive building ever constructed. The building's incredibly high level of transparency means that all 3,500 employees have a view to either Victoria Peak or Victoria Harbour. Foster previously said that if the firm had not won this contract, it probably would have been bankrupted. One of Foster's greatest architectural achievements is the Hong Kong Cheplepcock, the largest airport in the world, which opened in 1998. The $20 billion construction eight-storey terminal is so big that it can literally be seen from space. It was designed as a celebration of the modern age of air travel, attempting to create a sense of great adventure to all passengers who entered. The terminal allows you to see the planes as soon as you walk in and attempts to make you feel like you're up in the air with the plane, exciting the soon-to-be flyers. In 2004, Foster designed the tallest bridge in the world, the Melar Viaduct in France, alongside French designer Michel Verlageau. The Melau Viaduct has a structural height of 336 metres, with the cost of construction a staggering 394 million euros. 
the bridge has been ranked one of the greatest modern engineering achievements and was even awarded the 2006 Outstanding Structure Award from the International Association for Bridge and Structural Engineering. In 2002, Foster designed the South Korean Hankook Technoplex. The floor plates spiral around a central atrium, creating spaces of different heights throughout the 10-storey building. This lets natural light run deep into the building, as well as creating visual connections across separate levels, encouraging staff to interact with each other. Glass loofs are wrapped around the building at varying levels of density to moderate the indoor light levels. For example, the communal and social areas are designed to be brighter and more relaxed. Whereas the workspaces have stricter controls on light levels, used alongside an intelligent artificial lighting system. Similar to the Faber and Dumas headquarters, as well as the majority of Foster's buildings, there are many nature-inspired designs, such as the use of indoor trees travelling to the top of the building, where a beautiful roof garden awaits, which definitely takes advantage of the unobstructed views from the region, offering a unique space for company events. Inside, the open plan workspaces organically promote collaboration between different teams of the company. As well as this, top-level executives are co-located with their own teams on different levels. An executive business lounge on the top floor creates a space to provide interaction between team members, enabling a fluid flow of information within the company. Foster, working with Steve Jobs, designed Apple Park in the United States, which opened in 2017. Nicknamed in the media as The Spaceship, due to the large circular groundscaper design. The 175-acre site houses around 12,000 Apple employees. Apple co-founder Steve Jobs wanted the campus to look more like a nature refuge rather than an office park. This is why around 80% of the site is green space, planted with drought-resistant trees and plants indigenous to the local Cupertino area. Norman Foster currently sits on the board of trustees at the architectural charity Article 25. This charity designs, constructs and manages innovative, safe, sustainable buildings in some of the world's most unstable regions.